Tackle Junkies, what's going on everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals clicking on the video. A uh, huge thank you to all of you guys and gals who've been liking the videos, leaving comments down below. It really does help push the videos. You know, sometimes uh, you got to play the game on YouTube to get seen. And like I said, I really do appreciate uh, the continued support from all of you guys. Like I said, liking the videos, leaving comments, it really does help push the video. So if you haven't already, be sure to like the video, leave some comments down below, and let's hop into the video. Now, it is another unboxing video, but it's not uh, my typical unboxing on this channel. We're not unboxing tackle, all right? But really, what's in this box, or this particular box inside here, is probably one of the more important boxes that we should have on us as fishermen, and we never really think about it until we need it right and then we wish we had it okay and we are talking about a first aid kit but this is not your typical first aid kit okay this is a first aid kit that was you know built by fishermen okay so you're not going to get you know a box full of of band-aids and aspirin right this is going to be stuff that an angler can actually use out on the water when they get into a sticky situation. So like I was saying, these are three first aid kits here from a company called Angler Aid. And guys, I'll link them down below, definitely check them out. But these were built by pro fishermen like Brandon Polinick, you know, for the fishermen, for the angler, for the outdoorsmen. You're going to see some very useful items in these boxes compared to just your standard first aid kit, like we mentioned earlier, full of you know, mainly aspirins and mandates, right? You're going to be able to use a lot of the different items in these boxes really on a daily basis, okay? So the first one here is the 53 item first aid kit. Just a quick size comparison here. Here's a 3600 series Plano box. And this size here, guys, will be great for travel in your book bag, under the seat of your car, or something like that. But just a quick size comparison here. Of course, it's a bit thicker you guys can kind of see the footprint there, a bit smaller than your standard 3600 series size box, okay? So that is the 53 item kit. Like I said, great for, great for traveling, okay? Then we have the, the next step up here, which is called the safety kit, 88 item kit. Again, quick size comparison, 3600 series box here. Pretty close there and you can see it looks like the the kit is just a bit bigger just a bit bigger than the 3600 series Plano not by much give or take so dang near uh, the same size of course it is thicker though all right and this one here again is called the safety kit 88 item kit and guys like I said what I probably should do real fast is slide this off here let you guys see what comes in the safety kit. You guys can pause that, screenshot it. So that is the safety kit, and here is the, the first aid kit. You guys can do a quick comparison there where you guys can choose you know, the right kit for your needs. Anyway, so that was the safety kit, 88 item kit. Now we're going to go to the, the bigger one here, but this is the one I'm going to keep in my boat probably the next size down here i might keep this one in my truck you know keep that in my deck system or whatever keep that smaller one in my book bag and of course keep this one here in my boat this is the pro kit 101 item kit quick size comparison here we'll do that with a 3700 series plano box this is the uh, the edge flex okay a bit thicker than your standard box i believe so we'll line this one up here just to give you guys an idea. Okay. Pretty close there. Looks like it could be just a hair, maybe a hair smaller, give or take again. Give or take. You guys can kind of see the footprint there, of course. It's a bit thick. Anyways, give or take, pretty close to a 3700 series size box. Well, this is the box that I want to dive into here. This is the one I'm going to carry in my boat. Again, the Pro Kit, 101 item kit, 11, 11 premium products 
waterproof box, angler aid spray, tactical flashlight, multi-tool, emergency blanket, 550 paracord, carabiners, light stick, cold pack, fire starters, wire saw. So you can see here a lot of useful items, not just a bunch of band-aids, right? So anyways, let's go ahead and crack this one open here. I may readjust the camera so you guys can see exactly what's in this box. Show you guys the back real fast. You guys want to screenshot that compared to the other two boxes. Okay. So we have three latches on here. Two on the sides, one in the front. And this is an upgraded box compared to what they started with. I've been following this company for a bit now. And I believe they used to use a 3700 series Plano Deep box. And they even actually cut out some of the dividers to get everything to fit. So it's pretty cool to see them upgrade their box. Like I said, three latches here. And they do have a waterproof seal. If you guys can see that black O-ring around the lid there. So a waterproof seal there. And guys, let's just go ahead and just hop right into it. I'm not going to know all the specific names for each type of tape and things like that. We're just going to dive into the box here and you guys can see everything uh, that this box offers. Starting on this side here, we do have some blue tape. Some blue tape. We do have some white tape. Again, I'm sure there's a difference between the two. If you know, let me know down below. We have some elastic bandage. We have some, it's not a tape. It could be for like, I don't know, maybe tying on a bandage or something like that. Not really for sure. I'm sure you guys know. Again, let me know down below. We do have a little fingernail clipper. Always comes in handy. Thermometer. Okay. A little tweezers. Okay, we do have a divider in here if you want to organize the box differently, a little divider in there. And then we have some Q-tips. I love to use these really to clean my rod guides out. So I'm sure there's other uses for them as well, but that's what I like to do with these. So if I run out of my other little tube in my other box, I got some spares right here in my kit. Okay, so that's what's in the first compartment there. All right, next up we have, let me check this out. I mean, radiator clamps. And who else would think to put radiator clamps in a first aid kit like this, all right? Comes in really handy if you have a boat for fuel line and things like that. Looks like a couple different sizes in here. A couple bigger ones, a couple smaller ones. So that's very handy. Radiator clamps, a little, uh, like a wire saw. Is that what that is? A little saw. Very cool. I tell you what, if Big Mike sees this kit, he may take it from me. Another little divider there. Fire starter. Very cool. A little fire starter. Whistle. A couple carabiners here. And then some safety pins. A couple different sizes of safety pins. So you can see here, not your usual things or usual items that you would find in a first aid kit. Very, very cool. Okay. In the middle here, we have a little, uh, looks like a little first aid, a uh, little guide sheet there, depending on what kind of issue you run into from broken bones and breathing, bleeding, burns, things like that. So that'll walk you through it. We do have some sunscreen in here, a couple sunscreen. Do have some little towelettes, so some wipes in here. Electrical tape, that's a must have, right? Fuses, you got some fuses in here. Tape measure, no more excuses, right? If I forget my scale, I can at least measure my fish. Another, another divider in here if you choose to use that. I bet this is a mirror. Yeah, a little mirror, all right? black magic marker for your braid or for whatever you might need maybe right on your boxes or like i said braid or whatever that's pretty handy and then we have some gloves okay oh, we also have super glue there you go super glue you can tell a fisherman definitely had something to do with building these boxes very cool very cool you know what i like too is like everything is not crammed in here right 
So there's plenty of room if you want to add more items to it. Or like I said, if you take it all out and you put it back, you don't have to like jam the lid closed. Plenty of room in here um, and they didn't like overpack it. Okay, put all that, yep. Okay, so moving on to the next compartment here. Save that for last. We have some aspirin here and they didn't overdo it with aspirin and ibuprofen. You can always add more, but they actually put a bunch of useful items in here. It didn't overdo it with the band-aids and aspirin. So we have a handful of that stuff in here. We have a handful of, looks like the strip waterproof latex free band-aids and the, uh, the fingertip band-aids. We have an emergency blanket. Very cool, emergency blanket. And then we have an instant ice pack. We have some cotton balls and we have a scissors. And of course, another divider in here as well if you choose to organize this a bit differently. Okay. You can't argue with that, man. Definitely some more useful items in that compartment. Okay. And even have a little multi-tool. Very cool here. Multi-tool. So you have your needle nose pliers. Of course, you have a little cutter there. It does say stainless steel on it, which is very nice. Of course, you got some screwdrivers in there, a knife, a little tree saw. So some handy items in there as well. Okay, like so. Then we have a flashlight. Check that out, a little flashlight. You know, I bet actually, like most flashlights, there's probably a little, yep, little plastic deal on here just dropped in the box, a little piece of plastic on there so they wouldn't make contact, so it wouldn't turn on in your box. But now you'll see that it does work. Little flashlight there. We have a little, uh, what's this? We have here a little uh, light stick, a little glow stick type deal. Here we go. Everyone needs zip ties in their life, right? Zip ties, handful of those, another one of those. Paracord, this is what I use for my trolling motor. Rope on my trolling motor when that breaks, so I have some spare uh, 550 paracord in here for that. We have, what are these? These are wooden tongue depressors, okay? And even, guys, even have a piece of braid for the treble hook trick, man. You gotta pull out a treble hook. Even got some braid in here for that. I mean, they've thought of everything, right? I think we got it all in here. Yep, all that's in there, put everything back. Zip ties. Glow stick. And our flashlight. All right, last up, we have a bottle of the Angler Age Spray. And I've been using this stuff actually for a while now. I believe it was last year, Phantom Fishing uh, gave me a bottle of this stuff, but it's great for, you know, burns and cuts and things like that. It says on here, bass thumb and fin spikes, hook cuts and scrapes, sunburns and wind burns, uh, plant saps and oils, bug bites and stings. So if you have a little burn or something like that on you, uh, this spray here will ease the pain. I do believe each kit does come with a bottle of the Angler Aid Spray. And guys, that should wrap it up. Close her up, like I said, three latches, and you are good to go. Well, guys and gals, that should wrap it up. Let me know down below your thoughts on the Angler Aid Pro Kit. As you've seen, it's not your typical first aid kit. It's more of a like a survival kit. Some very handy items, you know, in this kit here. So let me know down below your thoughts on it. It'll be linked down below as well if you guys want to check it out. Real appreciate you guys and gals watching. If you liked the video, be sure to smash a thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.